Hello guys, good day. I'm back again for another tutorial. So, uh, once again, this is HBT tutorial for your open source applications, tutorials, how to install, setup, and basic configuration of the applications. Okay guys, so for today, we have an update on our BGBox server or uh, used for the BG dial installation. So, we are now on BGBox website. You can visit the or website using the bgbox.net or bgbox.org and then you can click the bgbox server and then as you can see here you can download the latest bgbox installer uh, 10.0 so uh, and now this is the updated one they are they already using uh, open to 15.3 so you can run the updates on your server Okay guys, so we will start and I will show you on how to install it again on our VM. So we will use first the VirtualBox machine. So we can use the Oracle Virtual VirtualBox so that we can... Uh, so this is my VM now, okay? Okay, so once again, before you continue watching on my video, can you please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell below so that you're always updated on our latest video. So, how to install it on uh, Oracle VirtualBox? So, you need to uh, create a new server here, like VGBox 10, and then select the Linux. And look for the open to 64 bit. Okay, and then next. And you can set your memory. Uh, if you have a laptop uh, available memory, much better. You can add more so that when you do um, a development test for the bitch dial, so you can uh, install it fast and smoothly. Okay. And for the this you can for me it's twenty gig it's enough for now. So I can I will change to other other this okay. Okay, so we have now uh created our BM and then you need to go to the settings, click the settings okay yes and then look for the system processor you can make it you can make it at least two core so that uh, the development is smooth and storage is that okay you and then here you can add your uh, ISO you can click here then choose uh, this from file okay then I have already downloaded the busybox ISO I'm using VCBox uh, MD, okay? Then okay. And then from the network, you can set your network to bridge. And then you can select your available network here. So I have a Realtek PCI GB Family Controller too. So I will use that. So I need to get this MAC address so that I can allow on my network, okay? Okay, once it's uh, already Again, so I need to configure my network to allow the okay. so once you're here, so you need to configure your network or if. You don't have any restriction on your network, so you can proceed with the installation. So for me, I need to okay, so.
Okay, so you can now ready to start your VM. Okay, then you just wait a few minutes and they have a pop-up here. Okay, this one. So you can select your ISO and then start. Okay, so when you here, when you here, you can select, use the arrow down and up on your keyboard. Okay, so when you here, you can use the R arrow up and down then select the install bg box 10 and then press enter so then wait until the system read of the configuration in the disk okay so when you when you see this one, so it means you need the, they said all the data on your dish you created, it will be deleted or destroyed. So just press enter to continue and wait and the system will start the installation of the VGBox 10. Okay, so while you're waiting, you can do some things while you're waiting the installation. So just be reminded, busy box installation you can uh, is not uh, usable for production. Uh, if you have a small agent like two or three, you can use it on production. But you need at least uh, high-end CPU so that the process is uh, much stable because also if you are working 24 hours so your system unit needs to open 24 hours so much better you can um, build uh, when you make you do on production you you build or get a dedicated machine so that uh, you can maximize the system and the usage of the VG dial.
Okay, so almost done our setup. So then we can start the test. The Beach Box 10. Or we do the installation or using the BC Box Express. So for this new uh, version 10, you can run the Zyper Rep and Zyper App before you do the installation of uh, BC Box Express. So or BC Box install for clustering or multi server setup. Also, the busy box 10 right now, they have uh, available from Asterix 13. You can update or upgrade directly to Asterix 16. So, I will show you also on how to do that. Once you successfully install the BG dial and then we will do the update okay so almost done so also you need to check if you have a internet connection on your device so that uh, no issue will show so upon login so you need to uh, the default login is the same root root for the user and password is Vichidaya. Okay, and then you have pop up. Then just press enter. System local. And then keyboard. Okay. And then uh, agreement. Just, uh, just agree. And then you can select your time zone. Uh, for me, I'm on Asia. Asia, so I need to get it down wide. Asia, Manila. So I'm from Philippines, so I need to check my available time zone. But it depends on you. And then your root password. Okay, so after that, you after that you need to wait and then uh, starting all network Okay, so I think we have successfully now installed our server. So, okay, so uh, and now after you do that, you need to check if you have uh, internet and just try to ping the Google. Okay, so if you not, you can you can go to the Yaslan. So, okay guys, so we are in on the YAS, using the YAS plan. So, you can modify your, your uh, network. So, for me, I don't need to configure the host name and the routing. Uh, I will just uh, leave it uh, dynamically because I have, I've already set on my network or my router the assigned IP address for my VG uh, dial. Okay? So, for, na uh, for now, we have check. We have uh, an IP ad to show your network available. So, my VG dial IP right now, as you can see, I'm using 
192.168.20.10 and then so and also if I if I ping the google.com I'm can able I'm able to ping it so I can now proceed to do the next step is Zypher ref to refresh the available uh, updates later okay so as you can see right now the bc box 10 already updated the version os version open 15.3 so you can simply safety run the zypher rep and zypher update before you do the bc box express installation or for the multi-server you can do you can run the bc box install Okay, so you need to have more patience because it will searching the available updates that is building the respiratories. Okay, so one is done, one is uh, done the cipher rep, we can run the cipher update. Okay, so now we can run the cipher. Okay, so if you see this, you can press Y and then press Enter to proceed the updates, updates and upgrade. Okay, so after the update, you can reboot. The server or if you want to proceed already but much better you reboot so that all the updates and upgrades will be applied on our installation okay okay so you need to boot from from the disk because we already installed we, because if you click again the bc box installed uh, it will install again the bc box server so much better you need to unmount you need to unmount the device or the iso on the bm so you need to go back to the storage here so from here you can remove the disk and then okay so if I restart again, control out uh, delete. Oops, no, 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 it's wrong. So you can click now. I just press the escape. So wait, I will reboot the machine. so I will uh, reboot here I will restart the machine from here okay, so. can wait now to
Okay, now we have successfully boot it again. So, much better you, you remove the ISO so that you will not confuse when the, your server was rebooted. So, it will automatically redirect it on the hard disk boot. Or you can do the first boot using your boot manager on your device. Okay. Okay, now we have successfully booted, so you need to log in again using user root and the password you input when you do the install. Okay, and then just clear this one, and now we can run the I can run the PC box express for express install okay just enter and wait until the installation is finished okay okay then do you want to continue yes so the SVN now is 35.21, the updated SVN for the Vichy dial. So when we do in general. Okay, the installation is done, so now you need to reboot your server, and then wait, and then after this one, you can test, and start accessing the Vichy Dial page.
Okay, you can press enter or wait until the countdown is finished. Okay guys, so we done the reboot, so I will test again, root, then the password you created. Then you can check the screen. So you need to wait until the screen will run at 8. So for now, you can now start the setup or continue the setup you can access your web or wait i need to verify my ip address so my ip address to access my server is 192.168.20.10 okay so okay and then click the access the server So, 192.168.20.10 and then you will be redirected to your Beachy Dial server and then start login. So, the default login user is 46 for the username password is 1234 and then you can do now the continue the initial setup your password and then you can change also this one if you want. So for me, it's just a default. I will default this to using the test because this is on and out, so no need. And for the your time zone, you can set your time zone. Uh, Asia Manila, 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 Asia Manila, Philippines, Asia Manila. Okay, then submit. So as you can see, it will you continue to need to log out and then relag in the administrator okay you have successfully logged in on your busybox machine so you can check your admin settings server so as you can see you don't have privilege because you need to modify your user and then set all the user to one this is the admin interspace uh, permission. So you can set this one to one. Because you are the admin, you are the super user of the widget dial. See? So they have also a two factor authentication so you we have another securities for the latest busy dial okay so you can select the agent api access to one but don't select this one okay and also this one if you have a user that 
use API only. So you can select the API only user. Then submit. And then after that, you can now uh, edit and open the server, modify the server, system settings. Okay. So right now we are successfully installed our VGBox. 10 with asterisk 13 because the default asterisk server is 13 okay so let's check the screen now so we have all the screen running and the asterisk okay so okay and then as you can see we are on sync so is that okay time is sync on the server so you can this one should be working successfully okay and now we, i will show you on how to update it on asterisk 16 from 13 update automatically to asterisk 16 because if you check your asterisk uh, they are using ast uh, asterisk 13 13.38.2 the current feature running so to update to asterisk 13 so you need to run the bc box as 16 okay and then press yes to continue and then wait a few minutes and your server will be uh, using the asterisk 13 also, it can possible to use on Scratch installation using CentOS 7 or CentOS 8. I suggest you are you need to use Asterix uh, 16. I think I noticed um, they give you more calls and less cpu usage and ram Also much better if you can stop the asterisk and then run the. So much better you need to reboot to apply the changes. Okay, I will reboot again my server.
Okay guys, we are now on rebooted the device. So let's check if we successfully upgrade from Asterix 13 to Asterix 16. Okay. So let me check the screen if it's still running. So Asterix. So we have now on Asterix 16 as you can see. Uh, 16.20-0 that's BG so uh, you, and now you can you need to update also your which box server so let me check here so you need to update your VC box server or the asterisk server to 16.16.16 zero with let me check so so sixteen point twenty point zero okay sixteen point twenty point zero sixteen point twenty then point zero does pg okay and then you need to reload and reconfig the file Okay, so if I exit and do the screen again, so you are running 12 socket on the system. So it means it will uh, successful installation. Okay, so we have successfully installed and update our VCBox 10 from Asterix 13 to 16 without any errors. And now I will show you on how to create. We will create a user so that we can test it. So we need to create a first user, add user. Or first we need to create a phone. So this is our phone. So like extension 100 for now because this is a test we only do a test point. test and then user or you need to create a campaign first add the campaign so we a test camp okay then Okay, and then do the manual, and then create your user. And then you can now log in the user. Okay, by agent. Okay, so with the you know, Hooper, so you need to go back in the campaign. So you need to disable the Hooper so that if the lead sheets are already finished, so agent is still able to log in. Allow no Hooper leads to, yes, so and then submit. And then I need to run my Hooper, my cell phone. Okay, so I need to create a user zip 100, 100, and then your which dial IP address, and then next, next, then wait. If our okay, successfully added our user, and then when you relog in your agent, submit. Okay, then log out first, submit, then or log in. So our our VG uh, or cipher will ring, and then the it will play the voice prompt. Okay. So as you can see, the logs is. 
successfully to check your user zip show peers yeah you have one user online okay so We have successfully installed our VGBox 10. So guys, thank you again for following my channel, HBT Tutorial. So once again, before you leave, and don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you always updated on our latest video. Okay guys, thank you guys. This is installation VGBox basics installation on Oracle VM. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Bye-bye.